Hi, it's my time to shine. How's everyone doing today? Me, splendid. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. And don't forget to donate or give gratitude to the trauma center that I'm working to open and accomplish. You can go through PayPal, Cash App, whatever. I only ask a dollar. I know y'all miss me like, damn, where she at? Anyway, I had to clean my house today, everybody. Um, And what I mean clean, I don't mean just clean. Um, People got different types of clean. My type of clean is scrubbing walls, going under beds, going under couches, um, getting dust out of closets, wiping off chairs, getting dust off of couches, cleaning the washer and dryer in and out, cleaning the refrigerator in and out, cleaning everything, going in corners, crevices, all that type of situation. Um, I'm my own exterminator. I never had anything because I exterminate my house once a week, bottom line, with the high performance shit that I buy. Backyard is going to get done tomorrow. That's going to be a nice sweep. And um, I, I go ahead, you know, um, Windex, polish, you know, to polish all my knickknacks, move everything around. Don't just go around it. You got to move chairs. You got to put move, move, move. A lot of people just mop and I don't know, do steps, mop my steps up and down. I don't have rugs. I never will have a rug ever again. I just, that's not for me. Um, I like pottier the floors, bottom line. I keep them shining on my own. Um, yeah, and I wash all my blankets and pillows. I don't use them again. I just put them back in the bag. And if I have a sleepover one day or my grandbaby get big, I put blankets down. But I buy new stuff. I might use it again, but most of the time I don't. I got so many comfortable one-down quilt, quilt. I like Tommy Hill quilt, quilts and shit like that because they be sturdy. Um, I did my whole bedroom over from top to bottom last night. I started at 9 and just got done a half hour ago, so that is certain. And at present time, I'm still washing and drying pillows. You know, I changed my whole bed. I took pillows off and stuff like that. Wore all new pillows. So, yeah, that's what I did today. So, um, I've got all my candles and spells and everything set up so I could just, you know, do the videos and send them out to people today, not tomorrow. Um, I think I'm taking Sunday off and um put my trash out early as well tomorrow for the simple fact i might go out to eat for myself tomorrow um yeah i might go out to eat and i might go out early so i'm gonna put my trash out early anyway just to get it out the way so i could sweep the backyard so i don't have to do it on monday i always put my trash out like a day and a half early why because first of all i don't like have to carry all my bags number two i get it out the way so it can already be out there my trash i'll spray down i'll put stuff in them so if people say something or they still say something they lying because i got older things in my trash I buy them um, and spray them inside my trash bags and put my bags out. That's why I don't do all that. Um, Got to deal with that shit. So, yeah. The only time I don't put my trash out early is my grandbaby here. Because, you know, you're in a poop and pee. You can't. It's hard to contend that over. But since she's not here, my trash will be out tomorrow. Uh, Bottom line. So, let me get that out. Because Monday night you usually go out, so I'm gonna put it Sunday. So my shit be out and I ain't gotta deal with it. And I'll park somewhere else or whatever. Cause I'm gonna have a lot of it. Uh because I have boxes, new stuff come in and you know, stuff like that. And I'm gonna have more trash on Monday, so I gotta get it out. Then I'm doing my backyard tomorrow. Take all my pillow things out for the season and bring them in. And I wanna shut that umbrella. Even though it's still summer, I'm shutting down all of that. I put all that shit up now. I'm not leaving all that out there. I gotta buy me a grill cover. I'm gonna have to Google it or Home Depot somewhere. I gotta get a grill cover. I'm gonna cover my grill for the season. So I don't gotta take it out. But anyway, I'm gonna do a quick read. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um 
finish my multi-millionaire manifestations. That's when I do multi-millionaire multi manifestations um, on Thursday and Saturdays. I usually don't do reads because this is a day about money. And then my candles, everything I do with spells is about money today um, for people to manifest money. Um, two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Somebody is balanced in the situation. I like the energy here. Um, could be a Capricorn or somebody could be juggling somebody. That's in the past energy, though. So, you never know with that. I feel like I'm crooked. Yep. So, yep. That's what I did today. Had my windows open all day for like eight hours. Now they shut. I mean, y'all know how I roll. What is the energy? Yeah. Emperor. You could be dealing with a baby ball status. You could be dealing with an Aries. Not every Aries is a, is a baby boss. Always know that. With the King of Pentacles, I love that energy. Somebody could be king in their finances. Aries, Capricorn, Taurus here. We have the King of Pentacles and we got the Emperor here. Past, present, and future. Great. Or you could be the Emperor status. Yeah, somebody giving and taking equally here. The divine love this Capricorn Taurus energy bottom line. I love that energy. Somebody is balancing the scales, which a lot of people don't. They just all about their self. Don't matter what. They crazy. What is the energy? Universe, spirit, guide, holy angels. What is the energy? What is the energy surrounding these readings at this time? Yeah, somebody left the past behind and moved forward in a situation. Um, could be a Gemini, could be a Libra, um, or Aquarius. Somebody left something behind. Somebody could have left the Aries behind. Take what resonate with the magician. Somebody is coming. Somebody is manipulating you out of a situation, um, or doing black magic on you. I feel like somebody will be manipulating you out of money here. Um, I don't know what they're gonna come to you with. But you had a victory in the past about a situation. Uh, maybe because you stay balanced and you had a victory in the past with somebody. Somebody's going to be manipulating you for money is what I'm saying. Yeah, happiness. Yeah. You left the past behind and you went towards your happiness here. I'm seeing you may left the Aries behind or you may be in the Aries energy here and you left everything behind to pursue your happiness. I definitely resonate Leo energy here. What is the energy surrounding this reading at this time? What is the energy surrounding this reading at this time? Universe. Ooh, all them cards came out. That's deep. Somebody had to start from the bottom and work their way back up to the top. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, somebody manipulating you for money because they're going through something here. If they're not doing it now in the future with the Queen of Swords, you cut this person off here. You got truth and clarity about the situation. You cut somebody off in the past. And with the Cain of Rods here, they going, they making something happy here. Or they want to make something happen with you because they see you happy here. But they under a lot of devil energy here. They about your money here. With the Ace of Swords, you cut them straight off. Like bottom line, cut them off. And you got truth and clarity is the overall energy. But they're coming back. They want to be trying to manipulate you for some type of, some type of dollars is what I'm seeing. And, um... I don't think you're going to be for it, but I just want you to know that that's what they up to when they come back. What is the energy? Stay out my email. Your comment does not matter. Yes, I always tell people, go to the doctors, and it says, trust God. So, yeah, that's the energy I'm seeing, that somebody's literally going to be manipulating you or tr manipulate. I ain't going to say trying because they are. They're going to manipulate you out of uh, money because they had to start from the bottom and work their way back up to the top and something. I don't know, but it's devil energy around it. Whatever they coming to you with, I, it seems like it's a lie. It seems like something in my eyes. Sorry, y'all, but that's what it see. Yeah, they gonna be manipulating you. So be be careful with this hater. Uh, that's why I say they a hater. They whatever you wanna call them because they coming to manipulate mani manipulate you for money. And the way I see it is they jealous of you. They see you doing good, so they want to kind of come and get something out of you. It may not even be a lot of money. And what I mean manipulating you out of party, I said out of a party. Uh, somebody could be manipulating you at a party. 
Just watch out. That's that. That's crazy. It came out at that. But manipulating you for money don't always mean it got to be a lot. It could be just for a couple dollars or something. But it's all devil energy because they trying to pull something from you. So always be on point. I know I'll be on point. Peace, light, and blessings.